So, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. You already know what's good. Today what we're gonna be talking about is a very ninja-like way to really base around the formula of what exactly happens during a cold call. I feel like a lot of you guys, you just get scared when you hop on the phones and you already know my channel. I try to give out as much advice as I can to help you guys close more deals, help your VAs close more deals. If you're watching this, you know what I'm saying? Uh, this applies to you. I don't care how many deals you've closed. But there is a formula for the way that this goes down and I'm gonna show it to you guys in this video. So, as always, you know we don't run ads on the show. All I ask is that you like, subscribe, and share, and I will catch you after the intro. Got my Belvines on the gas. All my homies want the throne, so sometimes we bound to clash. But we go through it, then we leave it in the past. Cause we only see the future and we coming for that ass. You see the leaves fall off, you thought the family tree would die. But the roots run deep below ground zero, that's the vibes. This never dies. No one knows how this all started, they just see us flex online. They play chess, we go all right guys, so there's a specific formula that you can literally go through when you're in the beginning phases of the cold call, okay? And I'll show you, this is called PASTOR, and this is Cold Calling 101. PASTOR stands for, number one, problem, number two, amplification, number three is service, and or solution and then number four this one is a kicker right here this is where you can transition from wherever you want to go to any of the other letters here and or you can talk about the transformation and that my friends is what's going to help you guys out tremendously the transitioning part we're gonna go over that here in a second okay the next one is removing yourself from detaching the emotional attachment from the individual who has the home okay this is where you take this and you create it into an object the problem becomes the object okay and then from here it becomes a we us together okay and then the last one last but not least this is resolution this is where you should either get the appointment get the contract or close the deal so I'm gonna go into this all right this is a, a literal formula all right and and a lot of people use this mostly in ads but I took it made it in my own thing I'm giving you guys the sauce right now so number one is the problem what is the problem if somebody's gonna want to sell their property it's gonna be because there is a situation there's a problem at hand so what is this person? Are they behind on taxes, right? Are they going into foreclosure? Are they uh, just not paying for things? And that's because that, like, that's the reason why they have to, you know, sell the house so they can accumulate some money and then fix their problems, right? The idea here is to create the problem and throw it on the table. Once you've identified what that, what that is, and if you watch any of my other cold calling videos, you'll know I'm big about talking about probing questions, right? Well, why are you going through this situation? Or why are you uh, wanting to sell your property? Um, why are you wanting to, us to take over the payments on your property? You see what I'm saying? These are questions that I ask to the client and they're probing questions so that I can identify what the real problem is, the real reason that they're gonna wanna sell me this house. The next one, guys, is the amplification of that problem. At this point, this is where you can literally create mad rapport this is the rapport building part this is where you you create the rapport you relate on a personal level to whatever the clients going through and on top of that guys you you keep going back and nudging to it okay so you create the rapport you relate to the situation and then you replicate the process over and over again until you move on to the next one this is where you provide a service Okay, this is the service or the solution. Well, look, Mr. Seller, I get it. You know, you're behind on payments on the property. Believe me, like, believe me, I know exactly how it is to go through these things. However, uh, my company provides a full blown service. I'll tell you what, I can make you a non obligation cash offer right now over the phone if you have about five minutes to talk with me. 
Now, okay, so that's the, that's the service, right? I'm gonna give you an offer over the phone. With COVID-19 right now, that's a big deal. That means I don't have to go to your house. If you guys are interested, I did a whole video where I made an offer on somebody's crib, and it's the deal machine video. I'll pop it up above my head right now. And uh, I literally closed a property without looking at it. It was like a $23,000 assignment fee. At this point, you're providing a solution. That comes after you've amplified the problem. So if they say, okay, well, you know what? You know, I, I, I'm behind on payments. Now it's your time to amplify that. Rapport, relate, replicate, right? Oh, look, I, I know exactly how that is. Believe it or not, you know, situation happened in XYZ, XYZ with somebody I know or somebody that I'm close to and that led to XYZ happening, right? Believe me, I'll tell you what. We provide a full-blown service here. I don't want you to lose your property. The solution would be, I'd love to take over the payments on your house. I'd love to buy your property cash. I think this property would work as a creative finance deal. At this point, I've transitioned from service to solution. Oh, we well, don't know where you're gonna go after you're done selling your property. I can help you out with that too. I can get you relocated. I can pay for the moving company. Now I'm tossing out services and solutions. Well, you know, I don't know, I don't have, I'm, I'm too weak, I can't move the property, I don't have any money to move the property. Well, look, it's all inclusive. This is the solution. The you, they are gonna identify problems, you are going to identify solutions. At this point, guys, this is where you transition. You can now transition into either story time or moving back up to the problem to remind them and then amplifying it again and going through the solution category. Transitions can happen in between this whole thing, okay? But this should also lead to the transformation. I had another client whose property I bought this exact same way. They were going through something heavy. Tony Robbins, right? If you guys are watching this, if you know who Tony is, he's an influential speaker, phenomenal dude. Love following the guy, right? He tells everything through stories. He talks about how it transformed his life or how something that he did transformed his life or someone else's life, right? Think about the, pla the past few clients that you've served in whatever category or caliber that you serve them and talk about how you help them and the things that they went through. People love people who tell stories. It's just part of the game. And you probably have a whole arsenal of properties that you've closed on that you don't even bring up to the client testimonials get the deal guys and so at this point I now start talking about my previous clients and how I help them transform their lives through my product and through my service and through the solutions that I gave to them that that would essentially show them that this is something that I've done in the past and this is something that I'm capable of doing at this point guys you remove them from the problem so the problems here you create it into an object and you move it out of the equation now the problem will be here. And then you and your client, AKA the seller, forgive me if I spelled client wrong, are viewing this thing from a balcony level, okay? Now, it's the object. Look, I get it, man. I've been, I, I, I can't tell you how many people I've talked to that have lost their houses. I don't say home, because home creates an emotion, emotional attachment. You know, I can't tell you how many people I've talked to that said they were going to lose their houses. You know, I'll tell you what, if you and I, now I'm removing them from the problem, come together, if we can work together, I'm almost positive that I can come up with a solution for us, we, together, us. If we can come together, we, together, I think I can come up with a solution for us. That is a win-win scenario. This right here is called Merit Negotiation. I did a whole video on this with my buddy Garrett. If you guys are wanting to take a look at that video, click the little thing above my head, okay? But at this point, I have created the problem into an object and I remove the seller's emotional attachment to the problem so that he and I can see it from a balcony view and we're able to, to capitalize on now. It's a team effort versus I'm just trying to do this for me or I'm trying to buy your property for me. It becomes a team effort. A lot of fucking wholesalers in this business, they lose business because they do not know this part, okay? Now, here's the resolution. The resolution is when you've identified these things, you've transitioned from P-A-S-T-O-R, the resolution should lead you to either the appointment, the contract, or even a closed deal, okay? Once you get to resolution, at this point, it's okay for you to ask the seller to do some things. 
Look, Mr. Seller, let me ask you something. All right, you got all of these things going on. I want to be able to help you, but I can't help you if you won't let me. So I think if we were to do this together and we were to team up, this would be beneficial for both of us. I put money in your pocket to begin this process. I got to ask you something. I'm willing to give you X amount of money for your property, but we have to sign an agreement for me to begin this process. That is the resolution, my friends. Okay. You are now resolving to the end scenario, which, which should lead to the climax point of this entire formula. And that should get you a contract. So guys, this is Pasture. It's been something that I've been using for years now. I've never shared this on a YouTube video before. So if you got value from this, all I ask is that you like, subscribe, share, holla at your boy. And uh, yeah, man, for all my weebs in the building, the ninja is out. Let's go. I want to check. Check. Ooh, no. I want to check.